Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As this channel is reasonably new, I thought that today I would set aside a little time to properly introduce myself in the form of a tag. So this is the booktube newbie tag, except it's not actually the booktube newbie tag because I have done that once before on my old channel before I moved all of my booktube content onto this channel. I thought it would be a good idea to film or answer some slightly different questions um, to keep things a little bit more interesting. Um, if you want to see, I have done this video, well I have done the booktube newbie tag once before so if you want to see that I will link it down below. That was posted to my old channel whilst I still was posting book content there. But now that I'm posting book content to here I thought that I would do the new to booktube tag for books and greens. So I have the questions here on my phone somewhere, if I can find them, <laughs> and I am going to answer them. The first question is, where are you joining us from? So I live in the UK in the West Yorkshire area in a city called Leeds, um, and I have been here for five years, I think. I moved um, to university here, and uh, when I graduated, me and Nathan and some of our friends got a flat here, and we haven't left, and we probably won't leave next year. So it's a really nice place, um, I'm very happy here. The next question is, what is the next question? The next question is how old are you? I am 22 years old, I turned 22 on July the 5th and I can't believe it either. <laughs> this question is why did you join Bookshoot? Well, I actually started a, another YouTube channel around a year ago, I'll link it down below, it's more of a kind of lifestyle, short film, whatever I kind of fancy goes on that channel really. Because I was making enough book content to justify a kind of separate channel, I made this channel for all of my booktube stuff, so like book reviews, book hauls, I can't talk, wrap ups, um, reviews, that kind of thing. I wanted to have more direction in terms of book videos and a kind of specific place for me to put all of that content. Um, so here we are and I've had this channel for around I think just under a month now and I think it works better this way. So yeah, the next question is what is the meaning behind your YouTube channel name or your channel name? So the book part um, kind of reflects my love for books and reading and my passion for like literature and sharing my thoughts on books with other people, hence why I created this channel in the first place. And the green side of things is kind of like a homage to my first original channel um, where I posted lots of things to do with like healthy living and veganism and diet and that kind of thing. So books and greens. Books and Greens. This question is what type of books do you read? And I feel like this is a huge cop out and I hate myself for doing it. But I feel like I really do like to read everything. So for example, I've just finished reading a psychological essay about the Holocaust and logotherapy and the kind of like will to hope in humanity um, by Victor E. Frankel. That was amazing. And now I'm reading or I've just finished reading In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware, which is a kind of psychological crime thriller, like a whodunit, kind of like a whodunit, kind of not, I don't know. <laughs> so I guess um, always a whole host of different genres, I really like non-fiction and I really like fiction and I like everything in between. Um, if it's got words then I will probably read it and enjoy it, so yeah. Next question is um, who are some of your favourite authors and I've made a list because I would never remember. So in no particular order some of my favourites are Carletta Sini, Milan Kundera, Douglas Cleveland, Hanif Qureshi, Louis de Bernier, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Cormac McCarthy, Lemony Snicket, Roald Dahl, Margaret Atwood and Jonathan and Safran Foa. Although there are a whole host of other authors that I'm sure I have forgotten to include in that list. The next question is what was the last book that you read and the last book that I read was a Sense of an Ending by Julian Barnes. Is it on my shelf? The Sense of an Ending by Julian Barnes and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. Next question is what do you use for bookmarks? Uh, question 10 is show us your TBR pile. I am honestly ashamed to show you my TBR pile, but I will anyway. So pretty much the whole of that shelf, quite a bit of that shelf, all of that shelf, those two, that isn't even the half of it. Question 11 is which do you prefer, ebook or physical book, owning or borrowing books? So I don't think I've ever read an ebook. 
Um, I much prefer a physical book. I'm just kind of like very, very stuck in... I just like having a physical book to read. Um, as I said, I don't think I've ever finished an ebook. It's not that I'm particularly against ebooks, it's just that I much prefer having a physical copy, so that's always kind of what I've gravitated towards and I've never branched out. For owning or borrowing books, um, I really don't mind, but again, I kind of much prefer to have a physical copy of my own, so I guess I would have to say owning, although I have borrowed many, many books and I check books out from the library. It doesn't really bother me, but I do like to have books on shelves that I have read and have yet to read and yeah, I guess I like to own a physical copy of my own. The next question is what book series got you into reading? Um, again, this is something that I think I answered in the booktube newbie tag, but of course Harry Potter, I was very, very into the Harry Potter series, but I think I'd have to say the Roald Dahl books. When I was very young, I remember reading um, all of the Roald Dahl books. I think my dad bought me kind of like a box set for Christmas or something and I just absolutely loved them. I uh, read them multiple, multiple times. Um, so yeah, I think I'd have to say Roald Dahl. I also remember um, a series written by Paul Stewart and Chris Riddle, I think called... There are a couple of different ones, but they're all kind of based in the same world. And I remember there being... The first one was called Into the Dark Woods or Into the Deep Woods or... The Edge Chronicles, that was what they were called. Um, I used to absolutely love that series. I remember checking them out from the library in primary school and getting all my friends to read them and just being like completely mesmerised by the whole kind of world and how inventive and imaginative it was and how complex and just being like... Poof. I loved, I loved that series. Um, the next question is how did you discover booktube? Um, I think... I don't know really. I think that um, I watched YouTube for a long time but I tended to watch kind of like daily vloggers and then I think that I started following um, Just Kiss My Frog or Lena um, and I guess I just kind of realised that there was like a side to YouTube where people just discussed and talked about books. Um, and I don't really know, I don't remember there being kind of like a moment of discovery but I think I just spent a lot of time on YouTube and eventually discovered um, this kind of community where people would talk about books and that's how I discovered, I guess, YouTube. I mean, booktube. The next question is, what challenges do you think that you will face with your channel? I remember answering this for my booktube newbie tag and I was like, oh, is it gonna be hard? I think the hardest thing about um, having a booktube channel for me is the time that it takes to Firstly, read the books, although I'd be doing that anyway. Secondly, kind of sitting down and collating all of my thoughts about the books so that I can put them in videos, but then I really enjoy that aspect of it because I think it forces me to think about what I've just read and forces me to kind of form a slightly more whole opinion on a book, whereas I might not otherwise, I maybe just would put it down and move on to the next one. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, well, like why that's difficult. I, yeah, I guess just kind of like finding the time in my day to stand in front of a camera and talk about um, the books that I've read or want to read or have been reading. But it's something that I really enjoy. So it's a challenge, but it's an enjoyable challenge. So it doesn't really bother me that much. And the next question and last question is where else can we find you? I will leave a list of my social media links down below, um, what do I use most often? I blog a lot on my WordPress. Um, I'm really bad at Twitter, I still don't really understand it. <laughs> um, I kind of go to Twitter for um, my news fix. Um, Instagram, I post some of my uh, kind of like photography on Instagram and a lot of pictures of Nathan and a lot of pictures of dogs on my Instagram. <laughs> um, what else? I guess I'm kind of usually to be found on YouTube or on Instagram. So yeah, give me a follow if you fancy. Like I said, I'll leave all of the links down in the description below. I always feel like a proper YouTuber when I say that. I'm like, all of the links in the description below and then I feel... <laughs> that is it for my new to booktube tag. I really hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you... <laughs> no. <laughs> I hope that you learn a little bit more about me. Um, and I'll see you in my next video, which should be an October TBR, but I think I've missed the boat for that. Um, so maybe it will be a book review or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in my next one. Bye!